Uh, welcome to a new video, the first video of 2021. Hopefully this year will be a lot better than the last year. So what I want to talk right now is a small vacation that I took here in New Zealand last year. So winter vacation. New Zealand is basically COVID free, so it is possible for me to do this vacation. It was possible for me to do this vacation. And instead of using my beloved Fujifilm X-T20 in this case here with all its chargers, cables and lenses, I opted for a combination of two smartphones, the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II and the Huawei Mate XS. And the reason for this is of course because those are a lot smaller than my Fujifilm X-T20 and its yeah, gorgeous casing here with all the chargers and other stuffs. And if I take one charger, USB Type-C charger and uh, two cables, I have the possibility to charge both of those phones and have a very slim package. And of course, because it is more handy to just carry those phones in your pocket than to carry this all the way, all the time. So this was the primarily this reason. And I was also testing out, is it possible? Can I, yeah, just simply ditch my camera for taking vacation photos and stick to one of the smartphones for vacation photos and how does it look with videos and these are my findings first of all what i figured out after taking all the photos and looking all the, at all the of, the of those photos and you know, taking all the videos and so on what i figured out is my primary camera for taking photos was the sony xperia 5 mark ii and the reason for this is a mainly simple reason, two simple reasons, hardware and software. Hardware in this case, the dedicated shutter button that is available on the Xperia 5 Mark II, which allows me to use it basically just like a camera with half press for focusing and a full press for taking the shot. And the other thing is the pretty significant um, software that reminds me of using a normal camera. So you have all the settings that you have normally on my Fuji X XT20 for example. So I can set up my, or what I did is set up my Photo Pro app on the Xperia 5 Mark II to shutter priority and usually in very bright conditions I set the shutter speed to 1 over 3200 uh, or 1 over 1000 or something like this and I had configured the the shutter button also to act as a quick launch so I can press and hold it and the camera app turns off uh, turns uh, up and I can just press uh, half press for focusing and then press to take rapidly uh, very quick shots which is pretty interesting for example if you want to uh, catch um, dolphins that are jumping in front of your boat and you want to catch them with a photo. This works pretty fast. In comparison to this, I noticed that the Huawei Mate XS that I also have in its default mode, the photo mode, if you press the shutter button, there is a small delay. So what I figured out is, granted, all this computational photography in this Huawei phone is way better than on the Sony phone, but it takes a while for taking a shot. And like the dolphins that I mentioned earlier, if I took the shot, the dolphins were gone already. So <clears throat> or basically I took the shot here, pressed when the dolphins were jumping up, pressed it. And when it took, it was like calculating and doing stuff. When it took the shot, the dolphins were gone already. And I had a nicely exposed, very colorful image then, but without the dolphins. So. Of course you can fix this on your Huawei device as well by going to the pro mode and then you have something similar that I have set up here like a shutter speed priority mode where I can just simply set the shutter speed uh, to something that I want something very quickly but still if you close down the camera app or you close down the phone the camera app might be killed or you open it up again and it might not appear in the pro mode again with your settings but it might go into the default mode which is a photo mode and uh, then you have the problem of like just taking it out of your pocket and taking the shot is not so possible as with the Xperia 5 Mark II where this is 
pretty much I s just have my setup the the seconds uh, mm, the shutter speed setup and also what's what's pretty nice is like that if I go to the uh, photo pro app is that you have a histogram here so I can quickly have a glance is the photo correctly exposed or not and if it's not I can just simply swipe on the shutter speed to make it uh, correctly exposed so this is <laughs> a very important thing for me and this is why the Xperia 5 Mark II wins the category for me when taking photos and I will show you some photos here uh, they're pretty good when it comes to taking photos of non quickly rapidly shooting objects or if I don't have to like oh, pull it out and take the shot but I have time then I would rather pr prefer the Huawei Mate XS because this computational photography uh, in this device does a very good job, does a better job than the Xperia. On the Xperia I like to shoot then raw and edit in post eventually, but for vacation photos, who is doing this? Um, so I like the computational photography of Huawei. It makes, it takes really pretty nice photos. It cannot do everything phenomenally, just like for example, if I have a shot on a beach and I'm shooting against the sun, the subjects, of course, the faces of the, of the people are black and even the computational photography magic of the Huawei cannot like uh, do perform magic and suddenly make them uh, bright again so you have to post edit this as well but in general I'm very happy with the computational photography of the Huawei device just that it's a bit slower so for fast moving subjects you have to go to the pro mode you have the time for this setting it up no problem and yeah the same goes for the Xperia uh, photo pro mode uh, is active by default and I use it all the time uh, the Huawei device I used primarily and you can see it also on my other channel uh, Leszek in Neuseeland and slash China uh, that um, I used this device primarily for taking videos and this has simple two reasons and this is why also when I compare the photography I can just with the XT20. Of course, the XT20 takes better shots than the the, the uh, Xperia or the Huawei. When it comes to video, however, I have the feeling that the Xperia has the uh, superior stabilization, especially for vlogging. And you can see this. There's some. I can maybe show you one example of the video. It has a very good stabilization. And I only had one problem one time where the stabilization turned off for some reason and it was very shaky. But usually it is very, very stabilized and you have the possibility to see yourself. If you open up the camera app and switch the camera, you can see Mate XS, very expensive device, I know foldable, but you have the possibility to see yourself and you have the possibility to go video mode, you go to ultra wide angle and then you have the perfect vlogging camera. I already told you this in one of my Mate XS camera reviews that this is the perfect vlogging camera and especially because of the stabilization and the good video quality that I got out of it. The Sony video mode on the other hand is a bit stuttery so I don't get a fluid 30 frames per second this is what I used and uh, also the stabilization sometimes has some hiccups where it's like moving around jumping around which I really don't like so much so the fluid stabilization and frame rate of the Huawei uh, really really is good and makes it better for um, vlogging. Also I can just put an adapter in here USB type C plug in a microphone the microphone that I have here and yeah use it as a microphone not possible here I have to use some extra third-party applications for having like a microphone even a half uh, microphone jack or I have a, a three three and a half millimeter headphone jack here I have to use a different software that does have worse stabilization then and uh, yeah it's not really the best when it comes to uh, vlogging in comparison to the Huawei device I would rather pick the Huawei device so plug and play on Huawei basically you don't have to set up any anything just plug your microphone in maybe choose the lens uh, to super wide angle lens if you want to do vlogging so you don't have to hold it like this uh, but you can hold it like this and you have super wide angle uh, so everything is visible you're not too close to the camera itself this photo pro app is a wonderful app i like it the video app needs a lot of improvement also e even with the uh, cinema pro app i don't like the cinema pro app at all 
uh, it's unusable for vacation uh, photography, I would say, or videography, I would say, uh, if you don't have an ND filter. I don't have an ND filter, it's not usable because uh, you want the one over one, uh, the, the 180 degree shutter angle or the one over 50 uh, sh shutter speed when you're recording uh, 25 uh, frames per second. But um, you cannot get it because most of the time, especially in summer here in New Zealand, it's too bright and you have to mess with the shutter speed then and it becomes everything like stuttery so it's not very good and the default camera application is also not the best when it comes to taking videos you can do this granted but if i have to compare those both the huawei is a clear winner when it comes to this the overall experience with those two devices i'm happy i have to say like i said uh vlogging was my main 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 thing i wanted to have like the, the experience not only in photos of course photos as well this took very nice shots of course it cannot compete with the xt 20 in terms of vacation shots but on the other hand in certain locations i wouldn't have my xt 20 with me because it's simply too bulky and too heavy but i have my phone with me and i'm glad that i have my phone with me to take wonderful nice shots when it comes to photography in the night however xperia loses its um, advantage of the camera and software app to the huawei definitely the Huawei has a night mode, but even without the night mode, you have the possibility to... Uh, we had like a sun circle, I think it is called, um, that we photographed uh, in one night at, at uh, where was it, uh, Lake Tecapo on the South Island. Wonderful. You can take s shots of the stars. You can take shot in the dark and the night mode takes care of it and uh, you can, uh, it's a wonderful shot. Here you have the typical problem that I would also have with my X-T20 without a tripod, no chance to photograph any uh, any sky, uh, what was it, a sun circle, a Solaris circle, I think it's called, or any of the stars. And uh, with the uh, Huawei, it performs magic with its automatic computational photography and you can photograph and get nice shots even in dark conditions. So I really like the night photography with the Huawei phone, which can in certain aspects beat the Fujifilm X-C20 as well. So if you don't have a tripod with the X-C20, grab your uh, Huawei phone and you are good to go. So in general, I would say I'm happy because I'm definitely sure that the X-C20 doesn't have a great, it doesn't have any stabilization actually for video. So vlogging would be hor horrible fit. And so I'm glad that I had my uh, Huawei for this. Uh, great stabilization. The quality is good enough for vlogging, definitely. And no one was like complaining about the, the, the quality of the video so far on my other channel. So I think it is uh, pretty good. When it comes to photos, sometimes I would really like to have the X-T20, especially when it comes to cropping in to get more details. And you have like, uh, what is it, 12 megapixel here and you have 24 megapixels, you notice the difference. Also dynamic range a little bit and the quality overall when it comes to bokeh and such effects. You can achieve this with this uh, 1 over 1.33 inch sensor here, so almost 1 inch sensor. But of course the APS-C camera has like a better field of view then. In general, however, when I come uh, to the conclusion of this all, am I sad that I didn't have my Fujifilm X-T20? Not really, I have to say, because the quality that comes out is okay for vacation and for sharing with uh, friends and family, definitely. And if you want to print it out or something like this, then maybe not, but it is very good. It is very good. It is. Uh, it cannot compete in quality if you compare it one to one, but for a vacation, it is good enough. I don't, I didn't miss my Fujifilm X-T20. For video especially, I didn't need, need it because the Huawei does a ter uh, tremendous job in, in terms of uh, video vlogging. I w would really say this is the best vlogging kit that you can get right now. And any Huawei phone in this case, I'm recording this with the Mate 30 Pro right now, a great vlogging kit. Uh, definitely the newer ones even better with better sensors and so on and software optimizations. So in general, I'm happy that I didn't take my Fujifilm X-T20 because I know that on certain locations I wouldn't, wouldn't have taken it because it's just too heavy, too bulky and uh, I didn't want to bother with taking such heavy thing and this I could just put in my pockets and 
have it uh, all the time with me and uh, yeah the quality that I got out of those two phones is pretty nice what if I have to decide between one phone only I really would really would like to go with the Xperia one <coughs> but no the video is a bit a tiny bit too bad too too bad to 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 have for vlogging the stabilization is not good enough so i really have to give it to huawei when it comes to this so if i have the next travel and i can only take one phone with me i would take the huawei phone and have to deal then with the slight delay in taking a photo or switching always to the pro mode and setting up the shutter speed uh, manually um, yeah that's basically my conclusion and I'm now interested in what you will post down below. What do you plan to take for your next vacation? One of those uh, high-end smartphones that has good photography. Maybe you have one of those smartphones uh, and you can well, you have also experience. How's your experience with those? Or will you stick with your compact APS-C kind of camera like the X-C20 for example or another compact camera R R RX100 or ZV-1 or whatever? I would really like to know this you can comment down below and uh, uh, please be uh, civil with, with this because I know that it's controversial for some people oh, how can you use smartphones for photography and oh, no cameras are the real thing only um, be civil in the comments and uh, I like to really uh, have a nice conversation with you in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye